April is my birth month and a very important month for my family, being my nephew's and my father's birthdays as well. I chose my quote page just to be the word April and a dictionary definition derived from Latin, aperir, meaning to open, because you should open your mind to new possibilities in the springtime when buds of flowers open. It rains a lot in April. Maybe that's why I love the rain so much. And umbrellas are really pretty. So I drew some umbrellas to keep in the theme. The windows are open. And as I showed my preschoolers, you can often see birds in springtime. Blue is my favorite color. Well, not so much sky blue or raindrop blue, but a cyan or cerulean blue. Still, it being spring and being my favorite thing to see the rain, I chose to do lots of blue rain. Other spring colors are green for new growth, pink, and purple. So I colored the rest of my picture with pinks, purples, and greens. For the font of the word April, I wanted a bubble letter like the bubbles or drops of rain, but I wanted to have a pop of more color, so I varied the colors in the two different greens, pinks, and one purple. And I'm repurposing some calendars from old calendar pages. In the month of April this year, April 1st, or April Fools, is Thursday. April is National Poetry Month, and to do a little nod to literature, I decided to quote Nicole Travis and her dot grid quotation book, Rain is Just Confetti from the Sky. I like the idea of rain being confetti because confetti makes you think of parties and rain always makes me happy. I chose to write the letters in plain handwriting with altering hues of blue for the color of rain. And then I cut up pieces of paper to write the word confetti. What I liked most about my first week of January spread and the majority of my March bullet journal spreads is that there was a lot of writing space. So I didn't need an extra block for writing notes some of the time. So I divided out the leftover space into the seven or eight days that I need for a week and some extra notes just in case. Then with those lines, I added the blue for raindrops as if they were coming down. For my second weekly bullet journal spread in April, I decided to use the quote, some feel rain, others just get wet. I liked this quote for this week because it's my father's birthday week and he does not like the rain. He would much rather it be sunny and warm. So I decided to do a little joke on him and make an anagram 
some feel rain is an anagram of as relief omen and others just get wet is a anagram for sweet jotter thugs. Without giving an overt reference to Doctor Who with the blue TARDIS, I decided to use the Doctor Who method of anagram as they did from 2005 to 2006 when Doctor Who became Torchwood. I kept my rain theme going by having the borders of each day as lines of rain. I'm proud of my Jewish heritage and looking up a quote for my third week spread, a guest is like rain. When he lingers on, he becomes a nuisance. I liked this quote and the effect that it had on my third week. For the last week in April, I decided to do a quote about love. A lot of people are known to have spring fever or have fallen in love in the springtime. The quote is, I saw you in the rain. Now, how can I say that I don't fall in love with the season? The sad thing is, when I looked up the quote by Oren Jones in the song, The Rain, 1986, it actually has the reverse meaning. The man who loves the woman is singing to her, seeing her with another man in the rain. And while I love my original interpretation of the quote, I know that I am taking it out of context. Keeping the rain theme. For my mood meter this month, I chose a bar graph variety. This is the first time I'm using a bar graph, but I've seen it in other bullet journalists. Here, I have a rain gauge starting at the bottom, being depressed, to sad, to okay, to happy, and elated. The first 15 days of the month are on the top half and the last 15 days of the month are on the bottom. I chose two different types of rain gauge images, one being a gnome and the other being two frogs cuddling under an umbrella sitting on a rock in the rain. Once again, my camera cut out as I was drawing this kind of cool looking swirly eye on the page. This will be for my anxiety tracker. I like the look of it and how it portrays the idea. It's called Toxic Influence. Next, I still want to my fitness goals. So here I drew a young woman running away. You can see that her foot is lifted up as she runs and 
that is how I often style my hair when I'm doing fitness. To complete the page, I'm just adding those two copies of the month for my trackers. Lastly, I love having my brain dump page. This time I looked up a specific brain dump page and used my lamb cutter to trace around a lamb shape, procrastination, sadness, fear, anger, incomplete goals, and that is the final page of my April bullet journal spread, pending my playlist. If you can't sleep, count sheep. Where does rain come from? Rain clouds. April, noun, derived from the Latin appear, meaning to open. Rain is just confetti from the sky. Nicole Travis. Some feel rain, others just get wet. A guest is like rain. I saw you in the middle of the rain now how can I say that I don't fall in love with the season? Oren Jones, The Rain, 1986. Rain gauge or mood meter, filling it up as a bar graph. Anxiety tracker fitness tracker and brain dump page procrastination sadness fear anger and incomplete goals playlist will go here